Hello, my beautiful Vibe Tribers. Welcome to your Mystic Affirmation for Monday, February 26th of 2024. Many blessings to you all. Remember, this is our collective energy for all sun, moon, and rising signs. That means if you'd like a personal reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you once you schedule your reading. And don't forget, this is our collective energy, which means we are being relentlessly optimistic, optimistic, positively positive, and we are pushing forward using the law of attraction, the law of divine compensation, and our ability to create and manifest our best possible lives now. So relentlessly optimistic is the way to be. I have trained myself to wake up with the thought of thank you as soon as my eyes open. As soon as I'm conscious, I say thank you. I don't say it out loud. I say it in my head. But still, it's it's a thing to set your pace. And and even, so here's another little probably TMI. Uh, <laughs> I, as I walk to the bathroom, which is my first, you know, trip out of the bed is I say thank you thank you as I'm walking thank you thank because I'm also acknowledging I'm thanking thanking the universe that my body is still in in good health and in motion because I have hurt myself in the past where I couldn't walk and it was a struggle to get out of the bed so I'm just saying I'm 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 also thanking the universe for my uh my my ability to ambulate right so it's just this is the habits i've started and now i wake up in that in that way so it's just having to be relentless about it here we go we have yes take good self care the 4 of swords and the knight of cups so a sincere offer coming through whether it's a job or someone who wants your highest good this energy is very positive so we've got the extension of that and so the 4 of swords is reminding you don't forget to fill your own tank. We we let ourselves burn the candle at both ends and we get in that place where we're not actually able to move forward. So let yourself be able to move forward on your time and your terms in your way. In other words, make time for the things you really find important like meditation and do them because with meditation, you're killing two birds. You're actually refilling your tank and you're centering and focusing and, and, and letting go of any anxiety or illness. So that's a double, double yes. Let's see what else we have. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure white light. Divine spirit. Ooh, world card. That's promotion and elevation. This is the energy of ascension. It is the Genesis pattern. It is the catalyst for the new, beautiful energy that you're opening up to in this wonderful world. You are standing in the vortex. So celebration and growth, abundance, empowerment. This is the, the big kahuna for upgrade. Upgrade, promotion, and increase. Divine spirit, spirit guides, gods, and goddesses, thank you so much for being present here to allow all sun, moon, and rising signs to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. So we have our three cards out. And, ooh, nice underlier, the high priestess. Now this one, it looks like you think, why is that the high priestess? That looks crazy, right? So understand that you have the ability to use the quantum. This is a quantum example. So when we send out energy, or this was photons, the experiment was photons, it goes out into the universe as a wave. When, it's, when you collapse your energy on a specific outcome, it turns into the solid form, which is why you want to be careful that you're not forcing your will on something and collapsing that into your reality as a whole. Because the wave pattern is the scattered scattered pieces, right? That's the quantum field. When you focus and bring it into the whole, if you're fo fo forcing the outcome to be specific, 
first of all, it's going to take longer unless you're completely aligned with it. And second of all, it may not be to your highest good because it's something your ego is asking for. Get it? And so the card right below that is the illumination of this high, high priestess energy. That's the princess of swords or the page of swords bringing in the insight that you need. So it's right there as you're in the highest frequency that, that you will be provided the insight, which is part of the meditation process. Opportunity. Man, you know, opportunities don't always show up with a bow on them. Sometimes they show up dressed like work. So let your definition of opportunity be a little more generous and know that opportunities can come in completely differently than you would think, but they're not, they're, they're opportunities nonetheless. And if you can choose to see it from that relentless optimistic point of view, you can turn something that would have been negative into a positive thing. I am always ready to take advantage of opportunities presented to me. That's the, that's the beautiful energy of being able to spin it. Remember, your attitude is what's causing the outcome. And believe this one, this you, I, you would think this would be a completely thing, different thing from what it is, but, but it, it's still got a good point. So believe. I believe that each check I write brings me money back tenfold. So remember, as long as you're investing into the things that you are in alignment with. So I really like my, my internet company. And I'm really happy that I can pay them and keep those people employed because they are I'm supporting them through an, an everyday monthly bill. So you do have the power to put your money out there and create abundance with it in a positive way. So just just remember that everything you're paying is somebody's making a living. Somebody's being supported. Their family's being supported. So use it. Use it as a powerful skill and know that that's part of your connection to not being in a negative place when you pay a bill because now you're doing it in a, in an energy of support recovery. So remember, we always try to jump right back on the horse. Whenever we, we have a little stagger or something happens, give yourself time to catch your breath and to fully restore yourself. Right. That's that four swords energy talking again. You don't have to run right back. You know, we all, I, I know that when I worked for other people, there was always pressure for me to hurry up and get back to work. They need me. Well, I needed me more. And I would, I would abuse myself by going back sooner than I should. So allow yourself to really recover emotionally as well. Recovering from emotional stress is, is also a thing. Divine masculine, very solid energy of something coming to form. The frequency of divine masculine supports our strong, focused, and active side, allowing it to express itself while helping us to bring our dreams and ideas into form with kindness and wisdom. So you see it starts off with the circle in the middle. Well, that's the beautiful energy of the creation point of the catalyst of when it happens. And then it expands out into form because that's the little center thing is your focus of what you're asking for. And then it's coming into form as you use the energy of the quantum. Okay, so we have our little angel, uh, guardian angel cards. Guilt. You do not need another's approval to feel worthy of love. Regardless of what you've done or what you think you failed to do, from your soul's perspective, there's neither right nor wrong. Every experience in this life is here to help you expand your awareness of love so that you may embrace ever greater spheres of wisdom. You've done nothing wrong. Let go of the guilt of someone else. Let go of the feeling that you should have done something differently. I know it doesn't feel like it all the time, but we're always on the exact right path. We're always in the exact right place. Even when our heart wants it to be different, sometimes it's necessary for us to take that diversion. Expression. Express how you feel clearly, lovingly, and honestly without fear or judgment. Say it exactly as it is. 
All will be resolved when you express to others how you truly feel. Trust in the power of life to guide you and heal all concerned. Self-expression is liberating and healing. Now, when I say this, I'm not talking about browbeat somebody or tell them off. I'm not talking about cussing somebody out. I'm talking about finding a way to let your heart speak and let yourself really connect to your true essence of your higher self. And that will never be negative because this is in that place of your your sacral chakra. That's the orange energy. And that means a place where things are, are being, um, where seeds are being blossomed into new experiences. So you definitely don't want to put any negative energy in it. Well, nine of cups. Hello. Beautiful energy of heart's desire being granted. We love, 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 love it. How amazing is that? Wonderful nine of cups as it comes through. That is very satisfying, feeling very anchored and secure and in a place of divine love and light. Nine of cups, heart desire being granted. Remember the recovery. You want to let yourself fully heal. Here's the thing. While you're healing, if you allow yourself the right amount of time and, and get yourself into full full recovery mode and do all your stuff, then you don't have to do it again. But if you jump in before you're ready and you re-injure yourself, then first of all, that full recovery is never going to make it. So now you're going to have to heal upon an injury upon a whatever happened, right? Injury on injury, right? Right now is the time you have to do it the right way the first time and not have to go back. And that way you know you'll be in a place of fully st stable and able to move forward. And that's what you want to be because that's the long fought battle and coming through it victorious with the six of rods. You see, she's a little, little excited because that's a victory. This is head and shoulders above the rest, being the front runner and having a ticker tape parade in your honor. So what a beautiful reading. Many blessings to you all for this beautiful reading. I will see you again tomorrow. Namaste.